attacking with tanks. Fighting began in the Russian province. The Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion announced that they were conducting another operation on the territory of the Russian Federation. The fighters recorded a video message and reported they were going toward Shebekino. In particular, a man in a military uniform says in the video that the neighborhood of Shebekino will appear very soon. The fighters claim that they plan to liberate all of Russia from Putin's regime. The Freedom of Russia Legion also announced a raid on the territory of the Russian Federation. We, the Freedom of Russia Legion, are now near the border of our homeland. Very soon we will advance again to the territory of Russia to bring freedom, peace and tranquility. Graveron is only the beginning. As a result of the cowardice of Putin's military, we have obtained a lot of spoils, thanks to which we will be able to arm our brothers more. We are going to liberate all of Russia, from Belgorod to Vladivostok. Let the flag of freedom fly in Moscow. Locals are asked not to leave buildings and to remain calm. The Russian authorities report on shelling and fighting, which allegedly lasted all night, but they assure the locals that there is no breakthrough of the armed forces of Ukraine. Before that, the Times newspaper wrote that the Freedom of Russia Legion, which wants to overthrow the regime of Vladimir Putin, recruited thousands of Russians to attack Moscow. Russian telegram channels reported that there is a battle on the border with Ukraine. According to information, Shebekino was heavily fired on at night and Russian soldiers were attacked. One of the fired shells fell into the building of the regional office of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Russia. Some residents were forced to leave their homes. Russian mass media also reported on the battle on the border with Ukraine. There is a battle on the border between Russia and Ukraine. According to preliminary information, saboteurs attacked Shebekino with the help of tanks. They are prevented by border guards and soldiers of the Ministry of Defense, the information says. According to witnesses, the road to Shebekino near Maslova was closed.